Hello, my beloved. How you feel? Happy? Unlimited? You are created by the Father. You are not what you made up out of yourself. So anyone and all of us who have decided to take a body and identify with this, what did we do? Practically, we decided for death, for suffering, for separation, for being not loved, because humans cannot love. They speak a lot about love, but they can't. So in that world, we made up out of the idea of separation from God and the source of love and light, as Christ says to us, as Jesus Christ says to us, is the hell, it's the world of suffering. And the decision we have to make deeply in our heart, in our beingness, do we want to suffer? Normally you would answer, no, I do not want to suffer. But when you cling in anything in the world and believe that makes you happy, you decide for suffering and for death. Anything you appreciate in that world you value, you hold on to it. It's not valuable. It's killing. Because it makes you to a human separate from others. And then you search and search and search for peace, for joy. But you can't get it. Even though you are peace, you are joy, you are the eternal life in the Father. And there we live, my love. We live only in the Father and there we share one identity and this is the beauty. And that's the lesson of, tea, of today that we really decide to perceive differently. My sight goes forth to look upon Christ's face. So the whole course is aiming only for one vision, to see the Christ in all. For that we have to understand that the whole world I made up, there's no one but me. I am the world. I and you I split it myself in billions of forms to defend myself against love and truth and life. So my choice as a holy son of God, which I stay, can't change it. And with all the power God has given me, with my choice, I had chosen to be separate from God and to make up pictures. So my thoughts are images which I make up. And then I see a world which isn't there. Has no source. Has no source in the real cause, God, in love. So we have to let go of the whole world when we do not want to suffer anymore. And just join, join, join with our beloved brother who has been created equal. Accept my love that you are the whole. Without this, we cannot forgive. I'm the whole, I'm the extension of the Father. He gave me the whole creation. And where am I? In the Father. And the world I made up, which is not real, I just overlook. And in each and every one, I recognize and accept the Holy Child of God who has everything and who is everywhere. We are the whole. Everyone is the whole. Beautiful. So healing is making whole. And we do not think in the brain. No. <laughs> you know, God is my mind in which I think. So does have God a brain? <laughs> no. I'm not thinking in the brain. The brain is just a uh, an instrument for the guidance of the body and the body now being used in a new purpose for the truth. I decide for heaven, for my true self. The body will function perfectly, but I do not think in the brain, I think in God's mind. My mind holds only what I think is good. And where that thoughts I share with everyone. Okay, we have to read again 
what is a body what is a body the body is a fence the son of god imagines he has built the separate parts of himself from other parts so again i repeat every day i am the whole so i have to take responsibilities or all the figures i see are just projections my projections out of my mind and they are not real it is within this fence he thinks he lives to die as it decays and crumbles for within this fence he thinks that he is safe from love identifying with the safety he regards himself as what his safety is the body how else could he be certain he remains within the body and keeps love outside so we must understand we decided to be a body against our true self against god and we decided for this and we played practically as an ego the god of this we have been the antichrist denying the christ and denying our true father the god of love and now we decide newly no 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 father you created me i do not know what i am please show me the body will not stay yet this he sees as double safety for the son of god's impermanence is proof his fence work his fences work and do the task his mind assigned to them for if his oneness still remains untouched what god has created as one stays one we are one in god and who could attack and who could be attacked who could be the victor and who could be the prey who could be the victim and who the murderer and if he did not die what proof is there that god's eternal son can be destroyed so again you are the whole you are the dream of the dream and everything you experience you make up you play with yourself there's no one but you the body is a dream like other dreams it sometimes seems to picture happiness but can quite suddenly revert to fear where every dream is born so all this, the pictures i made up all the dreams humans animals they are pictures of suffering they are pictures of death because they are mortal and so the fear and the anxiety is in that so we have to let it go for only love creates in truth so only love is real love doesn't hold grievances and love doesn't see bodies and truth can never fear so when i am in truth i am the only son of god i am his extension of the father what do i see just the light and love in everyone and beyond all the forms even beyond the lamp or table or computer i just feel the only present love of god which and i am one with the father may to be fearful must the body serve the purpose given it but we can change the purpose that the body will obey by changing what we think that it is for so we see all the bodies now only as a tool only as a communication instrument like handy for uniting us in the love of god the body is a means by which god's son returns to sanity so it was made to fence him into hell as out escape yet has the goal of heaven been exchanged for the pursuit of hell so i decide for heaven that means for my wholeness in god the son of god extends his hand to reach his brother and to help him walk along the road with him now the body is holy now it serves to heal the mind that it was made to kill so when i see the brother one miss me join with the holy self enjoy that one is take one brother first jesus and then another one and you feel feel happy and then extend it to everyone you will identify with what you think will make you safe whatever it may be you will believe that it is one with you your safety lies in truth god is and then we cease to speak i live in god your safety lies in truth and not in lies i'm not a body i'm free love is your safety fear does not exist identify with love and you are safe identify with love and you are home 
So I am only home in God. Beautiful. And God Father loves me. Identify with love and find yourself. So my holy self, which I am, is only love. I have to drink this up. Yes. Only love. This coughing is for me always a sign that the ego tries to put me back. <coughs> but, but when I do not give the power to the ego, but the ego is really like, like a snake, tries to pull you back in any, any way, in any way. There might be another one having bad times. It's choosing the false guide and the suffering. And as ego, we always suffer. And then he wants to pull you to understand him in his misery, etc. No, don't understand anyone in the misery. Look beyond the mistakes and undo them in your mind. You are the whole. And when body is sick and suffering or in depression or difficulties, just undo the mistakes in your own mind and help him in this way to see the Holy Christ in everyone our present today and be happy with him. We are one in God. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now our beautiful lesson is one of the most powerful lessons of the whole course. My sight goes forth to look upon Christ's face. Lesson 269. My sight goes forth to look upon Christ's face. Now the prayer. I ask your blessing on my side today. It is a means which you have chosen to become the way to show me my mistakes and to look beyond them. It has given me to find a new perception through the guide you gave to me, the Holy Spirit, and through his lessons to surpass perception and return to truth. So our aim is to pass perception and return to truth. I asked for the illusion which transcends all those I made. Today I choose to see a world forgiven in which everyone shows me the face of Christ and teaches me that what I look upon belongs to me, that nothing is except your Holy Son. So I am the whole, you know, in that prayer uh, we aim that I am the whole and I learn now with the Holy Spirit to look in every part, every part. I split it myself, but I look to every part as the Holy Son. So I don't see little ones or big ones or rich ones or men or women or anything. No, no, no. That is the world I made up. With humans, with, with animals, with things, plants, etc. This all is not real. God did not create so the, the perishable, so I see beyond the form only to the face of Christ. My sight goes forth to look upon Christ's face. So I see the forgiven world. So when I let go of all the mortal forms, what do I see? The omnipresent love of God, the grace of face of Christ. Today our sight is blessed indeed. We share one vision and we look upon the face of him whose self is ours. Christ's self. We are one because of him, who is the Son of God. We are all the Son of God. We share one identity. We are the Christ, the self, of him who is our own identity. Yes, I'm very happy, Jesus. Very, very happy. And ah, also this, that there is no past. There is only the now. And whatever has happened yesterday didn't matter. I'm one with my brother, and I accept that. I'm one with my brother. And if they yell and scream and say, Heidi, you are beyond. You are not here in this world anymore. No, I don't, I'm not in this world, and nobody is in this world. It's just the hell, a dream I made up. Why should I dream, and why should I go in the dreams? I don't go in any story anymore, of anyone, no. I just want to see him as God created him and love him as what he is really internally, 
one with me and God. That is help. Others, otherwise, I make up the hell. So why? Yes, and everyone is already healed. Okay, I repeat the lesson. Lesson 269. My sight goes forth to look upon Christ's face. I ask your blessing on my sight today. It is a means which you have chosen to become the way to show me my mistakes and look beyond them. It has given me to find a new perception through the guide you gave to me and through his lesson to surpass perception and return to truth. So I still see with my physical eyes the world I made up. But with the help of Holy Spirit and asking him to guide me, I see beyond to the holy face of Christ. I asked for the illusion which transcend all those I made. Today I choose to see a world forgiven in which everyone shows me the face of Christ and teaches me that that I look upon belongs to me. So that in the awareness that I'm whole, everything I look upon belongs to me. It's a part of me and part of God. That nothing is except the Holy Son of God, the your Holy Son. So I see in everyone the Holy Son of God. That's the work I do. That's the liberation for me and everyone for the whole world. So might it be Donald Trump or your neighbor or your children or your friends. Look beyond the forms. Look beyond the p uh, person you projected. It's all you. There's no one but you. You made up the different figures. So you made up the nuns, the terrorists, and whatever, the murderer. <laughs> it's your game. It's your game. You play the theater director and, and everything you do yourself. So let it go and see today only the Christ. Today our sight is blessed indeed. We share one vision as we look upon the face of him whose self is ours. We are one because of him who is the Son of God, of him who is our own identity. So we look beyond the forms we projected, beyond the figures, the egos we made up, to the real one, to the Holy Self. And now I remember, you know, the Indian teaching, they make a tilak on the forehead and say, I look to the divine. But the tilak, is actually replacing only uh, is only stands for the ego because when I see a spark of light in the body, then I separate. So we have not an individual soul. This is nonsense. We are the whole. Finish soul consciousness and go to whole consciousness. I'm the whole. And the bodies I projected, they are not real. I made up a hell. A world of separation, a world of death, and I can undo it because it's not real. God did not create that hell where humans live to die and animals and plants, no. The world of God is only love and light, eternal, you're sharing one identity. So the entrance ticket to the heaven is peace, and peace is only there in total oneness, in that oneness that we share one identity. Make an experiment. Look beyond this form. Just tell yourself, this picture I'm seeing there of Heidi, I made up. It's not real. Heidi is not a bit. No. Please, Holy Spirit, show me the brother, show me the Christ. And also we are not sisters and brothers. We are brothers in the sense that we, we are one holy self, the Son of God. No separation. Now feel the light. Feel the light go in the oneness. Ask Holy Spirit to show you the brother. And I do the same with you. And in this oneness is so much joy. That is healing. That is forgiveness. And believe me, when you feel that joy of oneness, 
is a brother. He is healed. Yes. He might not accept it because he's clinging to his personality. But one day he will. And then the blessing is right with him. Okay. Have a beautiful day. You are the beloved of God. <laughs> Jesus is telling me, ask yourself loud, and also the one who's listening to this video, who am I? And listen to the answer, who am I? <sighs> I'm the most, most beautiful being. I'm the Holy Self. I'm peace, I'm love, I'm joy. I'm unlimited. All the gifts of God are mine. I've never left the Father. I'm back home with all what lives. So when this kind of answer you get, you can be certain that you are on course. <laughs> if not, ask Holy Spirit to take over until you get that true answer out of your inner beingness. Yes. And what does love want to do? Love only shares. Love never demands. Never, never, and, and never. And love holds no grievances, and love holds no past. It's only in the present. Loving the other is the Holy Sky, as the Holy Christ, the Self. Beautiful. Enjoy your day. It's a day of light and love. <laughs>